Stephen James Deshaun. It's the 13th of September. What a surprise. Stephen James Deshaun. Channel is no longer in existence. And neither is his other one, too. The, uh... The backup one. RHT something something there. RHT DBD doesn't exist. All right, well, it's perfect timing to start with the bombing and the second 9 11 and, uh, you know, the rapture, the, uh, heaven the fire show from heaven the the sky open treaty and the um and the full screen we're gonna have a full screen when it comes to the events that are gonna happen full screen So now, now it's time for a little video thing, and so now this is a little slideshow, and then I'm going to play the slideshow, and then we're going to talk about it, and then I'll do another little slideshow, and uh, that'll be our Friday night hanging out together. Oh, and by the way, then um, like Sunday, or maybe Sunday or Monday, I'm going to deliver the Mark of the Beast video. It's time for a little video thing, and so now this is a little slide. Full screen. Full screen. There's a full screen up in the sky that's called Walls. There's walls on the left of you, there's walls on the right, there's walls above you. They're all going to come surrounding us. He doesn't accidentally touch that button and go and show you that it's going to be a full screen. Not at all. would be Los Angeles. Todd. 
which is recommended. So that'll be another slideshow, as he pointed to the three. Like a 2-3 bypass, 2-3 bypass. One, two, and then it's either one or one or the other. Either the, the following Monday, Sunday, Monday, which is the 20th or the 21st, is what he's talking about, sending the Market of Beast video, as this is a slideshow. His videos are is what we're seeing gonna see up in the sky. Or he's talking about tomorrow. This is Dabu7. We have reports that Trump is saying we're going to exit this Open Skies Treaty. Let me interpret Trump to exit. Trump to exit. Whatever Steve does, Trump does. Steve just exited. He's never, I don't remember ever seeing his channel like this before, let alone now. It's perfect timing. This is done. And <clears throat> open skies. Just notice how it's, it's separating itself, the words. Because it's time for Trump to exit. It's showing the airplane as if he's going to exit. With a, because the airplane falls from the sky. They're showing us that these airplanes are in the sky, which is, uh, well, let me let Dabu explain to you what, why we're supposed to be afraid of what we're, of these images that we're getting ready to see in the sky with a, with a full screen. Dabu 7, we have reports that Trump is saying we're going to exit this open skies treaty, banning Russian recon flights over the United States. Now this is the Russian Tu-T-140N aircraft that many people have looked up in the sky and seen this thing and a lot of people getting freaked out asking why is a Russian aircraft over our country to begin with. And this is a part of this uh, treaty that the United States signed into in 1992. See how they're getting you prepared for... Alright, so when we see these airplanes that are gray with the white, blue and red the stripe, know that that's, they're sending uh, the Russian images. There's over 4,000 of them. They're, I mean, they're, we haven't even seen all of them, right, Click. We haven't even seen all of these images. That's just some of them right now. It's time to open the skies with all of the artwork that Kleck has drawn over these years to get the, to get prepared for this moment. You think he just sat down and started drawing and was like, hey, you know what, maybe I should, I can use this as an image in the sky. Nope. It's been planned for many, many years, and he has over 4,000 of them. We've only seen a few. Mr. Other Mouthpiece, this one here, Uh, they love to tell you the day before what they're doing. So, the bank runs are coming. The bank. Bank. Run. 
Morning. Bank. Run. Coming to the United States. Banks are the targets in Philadelphia. The missiles, the airplanes, the images, we're getting ready to see them all. Oh, you know what? Something else that I looked, I looked at, I thought, man, that's, that is so uh, interesting because no more down, curse, you won't believe it. Which we won't, but you will watch a miracle. Forget about the plus, but you will watch. That's when they try to put that period in there in another word, but that's this is just watch a miracle manifest live. Live. Watch a miracle manifest live. I was only about 47 minutes in on Kleck's video. Didn't pay any attention to the title whatsoever. And after I was done this video, I was probably like 55 minutes in, maybe 60. And but see, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to live stream tomorrow, Monday, October 14th, 17th and JFK Boulevard. I'll get a nice view, 8.48 a.m. Because I want to witness the second 9-11 before the airplanes get there. I truly believe that this is going to happen tomorrow. And you will absolutely see me there. You'll see me there tomorrow. So, why would anybody go to a place where they think it's going to get blown up? Probably because I'm, I'm ready to shut the lion's mouth. I'm tired of them lying so damn much. And I'm tired of people trying to put everybody in fear. And I'm just tired of people that work for them. It's like, you guys just got to accept that God is real. I know it's hard to believe. Would you go there? If you thought that your vision was going to come true, that you see, would you... Put yourself in harm's way because it can be real after all the bombs are real it's just the the thing flying in the sky I'm not buying it I'm not buying what they're gonna say hit the buildings because it's because it's an image regardless it's an image is coming through it's not a real missile it's not a real nuclear but it's it's a image one of Kleck's images that he's going to show us because it's go time so I want to see this firsthand I mean I might get blown up you might see it live but look at least I'll be able to show you to, to my death and maybe I'm wrong maybe it's all real but if it still happens tomorrow and I'm there and I do die well I mean, I mean I seen it you know I seen it I'm believing that it's that it's more miracle signs and wonders than anything else of course you're gonna see some explosions and hear and feel some shaking of the ground they have that ability but it's just more fear than anything else it's it's over exaggerated they're coming up with a small people remember World War two when they had the balloon tanks that were that fooled the uh, Whoever we were fighting, I, I don't know. And um, and they were just, they were, they were a bunch of air balloon tanks. And it made it look like they had a bunch of real people when they didn't. So it's the same thing now. There's not that many people involved in this. But they all have the power. 
So I want to see it firsthand tomorrow. So this is yesterday, before Stephen James, before his channel was silenced. But we're not here yet. We're not here. We need to get here. It's only uh, five days away. But apparently, apparently, it's exactly... Look, I'll tell you now, all right? I'll tell you now because Steve already did it. When I say in order, the way I... The way I said that, uh, how it's all going to manifest, there's three of them. There's Trump, there's uh, this guy, Jonathan Click, and then there's Stephen James. The top... Uh, Mr. Mouthpiece for social media with a with a high profile channel and then Steve as the underground high profile and then Trump as the above ground, the seven billion get a chance to to know him. So I said that at first I thought it'd be Trump and then him, John, and then Steve last. But no. He I think he's leaving three days later. Three and a half days. He's he's next. Or um, no wait, hold on. Uh, what did I say before? I did I did do a video. They were three days apart. Because one of them, one of them is gonna get hit first. I thought it would be Trump, and then him, and then and then Steve. At least that's what I said. I thought, and then to make Steve last, now Steve became first. That's how you that's how you that's how you get your confirmation by switching it around saying it saying it at first because that was one of my it's one of my thoughts initially but when you say it and stick with it then Steve will do the exact opposite it's it's opposite game that's that's what they do they play opposites they they actually change the script on you because they don't they don't want you to to get it right I'll look for that video to see if I can find it where it's uh, all three of them back to back, three day, three and a half days apart from the from the event. So now, because what's going to happen? Here's why. Here's why Steve disappeared as of today because he's going to be the last to rise back up. He's going to be the last one. Now it's between him and Trump. Who goes first? Who? I think Trump goes first. Uh, it's second, actually. But be, be, between them two, Trump's falling from the sky in an airplane. That should be coming up three days after today. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe? 14th, 15th? And then he's last. He's going to be last. Or maybe he's next. I don't know. i got to think about this one. You know, I almost forgot about somebody. My channel is going to look the same exact way. So what, what would be the reason why your channel would go that way? Unless you've been kidnapped because, you're, because there's man-stealers. You've been kidnapped and, um, and then shut down. Like or, but see, I'm trying to go by the the story of the theme of of dying, like being killed for three days and a half days in the streets. Why would they? Why would that happen to Steve? Why would your channel be shut down like that? It can either be that or, you know, he got strikes and our silence and the the truth, which is also part of it. But I, you know, with Steve, there's there's multiple reasons why he does. There's at least three reasons why he does the things that he does. I really believe something terrible is coming to the financial system here in the United States of America and worldwide. I've been talking about... Don't go back to the way you talking about 10 years ago. He's letting you know there's bank runs coming.
to be without there being some kind of cataclysm in the very near future. I think we're starting to see the wheels come off, not just America, but worldwide. Of course, we have bank runs in Hong Kong right now. People can't get cash out of their ATMs. I think this is coming to the United States. There's a bombshell report that just came out. The New York Fed is adding $82.7 billion to their ATMs. And I think this is coming to the United States. There's a bombshell report that just came out. The New York right now, people can't get cash out of their ATMs. And I think this is coming to the United States. There's a bombshell report. It's going to shut down. I honestly think we're going to have bank runs. Something really, really big is coming. I think that the New York Stock Exchange is going to shut down. I honestly think we're going to have bank runs in the United States of America once again, just like 2008-09 had a digital bank run. But this time I think we're going to see physical conflict. This time I think we're going to see physical conflict. We're going to see physical conflict. We're going to see bank accounts emptied. And potentially, this has been my worst fear over the last couple of years, bail-ins. Now, keep in mind, we saw this in Cyprus, where the Cyprus government bailed He's themselves next. in by stealing and confiscating money from its customers' accounts. So far, it's one and two. So this building here, it's too short for an airplane to hit. Yeah? These buildings are too short. We have to think about what are they planning and perhaps what kind of shock is coming to the American economy. He stole customer money out of his checking accounts of his customers when the company was going under. I think this is what our U.S. financial institutions are going to do once again because the big banks in this country, whether or not it's Wells Fargo, Bank of America, banks. the list goes on and on, U.S. banks, banks they can Wells only survive Fargo. with taxpayer bailouts Fargo, and zero percent like interest rates. That's just the hardcore truth. Says the big banks in this country, whether or not it's Wells Fargo, Bank of America, the li the big banks in this country, whether or not it's Wells Fargo, Bank of America, the list Bank goes on of America. And on. That's just the hardcore truth. So we have to think about what are they planning and perhaps what kind of shock is coming to the American economy. These are headed and also where I see the value. Do I see more value in silver at the moment or do I see more value in gold? I also provide some alternatives that I know many of you haven't thought about on just how to get started, just some basic fundamentals, and then I moved a little bit more of advanced topics, which truly provides what I always a little call bit ahead of time, a golden here comes the nuggets silence. that you and your family can use to prepare, protect yourself from what we know is coming to the United States. The real 70 literal weeks. Back on July 8th, the New Zealand tsunami is the first one that we'll see, starting from east to west. It's going to be like lightning. But there's also the ones that are coming from the volcanic eruption in Hawaii that happens here in America. They're coming. Click like has those images ready. The aliens are coming. Rapid fire news stories on the mainstream within those 21 days. It's guaranteed. Just add five months to that date. It's in one of his Clex folders, so it looks like that's one of the targets to, to be. They'll try to push that off as that being the great Vatican City. Just add five months and 
take away the get shot and add falls from an airplane. Just add five months and two days because on October 3rd was when the military was called to be uh, activated. They're not saying it's a martial law, but it is. And this is just for... For future reference. Thanks, Robin. Back on March 15th, when that New Zealand shooting happened, I was talking about the, you know, the red, blue sea sky. It will open again. The Trump to exit open skies treaty. So here we are with the talk about the open sky that we're going to start seeing all these images in the skies. You can believe they're real if you want. I mean, maybe some of them will be and they'll just mix them in with a, with a whole lot of others that aren't. Who's going to be able to tell anyway? So again, the script, the script is pretty closely understood because they've been uh, just, you know, whatever you throw out there, Russia, submarines will drop bombs on America. On the coastlines, that'll be one excuse. And, uh, and Washington, D.C. Because what was hit before? It was the Pentagon, it was New York, the plane in Pennsylvania went down, which means wherever wherever that plane went down, it's it was uh it's gonna be heading to the place where it went down at. And um I think they said I think they might have said it was heading to Washington DC. And remember this is gonna be another story. North Korea shot a missile and destroyed America's EMP. That's going to be one uh, rumor to to us. Like when a, a certain place is in the United States, they're going to tell you that they're going to use that excuse. I got to give it to you, Click. I never knew that that one was nice. Open Sky Treaty. It's, it's like everything is going to go all out. It's about that time. Anybody that's afraid, just text 322 for a, a bunker roll call. Let's take a look at some numbers here. 4-1 began with the assassination of somebody, I don't know, the husband and wife. I forget their name on June 28th, on my birthday, June 28th, 1914. Well, not that I was born then. Duh, we know. And hey, then it so stupid, ain't it? ended in the 11th hour, the 11th month, the 11th day. That's interesting because that 21 days from 10 uh, 21, which is the eighth full year going into perdition, uh, 21 days is 11 11, which is exactly 100 full years. 100 full years. November 11th, 1918. The official ending was June 28th, 1919. Five years. The second war began on 9-1-1939, September 1st, and that one ended on September 2nd, 1945, which was six years of war. Now, rumor has it that this time around, the war from the World War III is going to last seven years. And it just add another five months. 
the peace deal, the offer, when uh, the olive leaf is plucked off, well, that'll be October on May 24th, 24th, 2019. The Prince of the Air, okay? He created this. He's trying to be God. He created it for his own good pleasure. Even though he's not the Prince of the Air, I'm just telling you who he's playing. So just add five months to this prediction where the sky, the wall opens from being closed. And also the sky open treaty, October 24th. And then the party's over. St uh, click. On the face of the deep. May that God sun said, shine. There be light. After three and a half more days. They saw that it was good, the light. I'm getting ready to go into that 21 days of Daniel. Where the, uh, the sun's face shines like the sun of God. On the land of the desolate America first. Just add five months from October 1st, from November 1st to, well, I don't know, I mean, maybe I might want more days now, because at first I, I wasn't trying to, I, well, what I was trying to do was go to Clearwater afterwards, but uh, either way, just we'll stick with adding five months for 30 days. So back on February 1st is what I'm telling you about Trump and Steve doing the same thing. Above, so below. The same thing being played out on mainstream media. Steve is playing out the same thing that's similar with uh, Trump. But in a little bit different way. He's playing more of the Christ role, even though he's more the Antichrist. And then Trump is being praised for being the Christ. All right. And then you have this one. There are the three. So again, what Steve does is the same thing that Trump does. And Trump is getting ready to exit. And then it's open skies. 